clobbered civilians, giant trucks on tarmac, broken car windows, street wars between police and civilians, and liberation songs filling the air were the scenes on Nairobi streets on the 7th of July, 1990. <laughs> Despite not being a national holiday, Sabasaba is definitely a day to be remembered in Kenyan history. In July of 1990, Kenya was still a one-party state under the Kanu regime, and a group of youthful politicians dubbed the Young Turks were determined to change that. <laughs> The group included Raila Odinga, Paul Mwite, James Orengo, Gitobu Imanyara, Joe Aguirre, Mukisa Kitui, and Anyang Nyongo, among others. They received political backing from senior politicians like Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, Masinde Muliro, Philip Gashoka, George Ndenge and Martin Shikuku in the push for a multi-party state. Following the pressure that culminated from the events of July 7, 1990, Kanu allowed the formation of more political parties by repealing Section 2A of the Constitution. This was followed by multi-party elections in 1992. Saba Saba has however gone by seemingly unnoticed over the years and one wonders whether it's a day that will lose its meaning over time or will Kenyans find a way to etch it in the history books. Whoa.